look to you. Whatever it is you're fighting about. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 movies to watch before the 2023 Oscars. I need you with me, and I need you to be strong. For this list, we're looking at the most essential films to see before the big ceremony to make the watch as exciting as possible. Which film do you want to see win big at the Oscars? Let us know in the comments below. Number 10, The Whale. Where'd you gain all that weight? Someone close to me passed away, and it had an effect on me. It seemed like Oscar buzz started flying for the whale as soon as people saw the first trailer. Fortunately, the full film didn't disappoint. Brendan Fraser plays a man with a weight problem who struggles with self-image, anxiety, family issues, and more. His moving performance is a vital part of why the movie works so well. I need to know that she's going to have a decent life where she cares about people and that she's going to be okay. Since Fraser has already won a Critics' Choice Award, he should be a top contender for Best Actor at the Oscars. There's also a decent chance that the stunning makeup work could earn the whale additional gold. This movie has what it takes to be an award-winning comeback movie for Fraser. I want you to know that if you too can have the strength to just get to your feet and go to the light, good things will happen. Casetify is the world's leading tech accessories brand with a focus on empowering artists to create the most culturally diverse and protective cases for all your devices. Casetify cases are built tough and eco-friendly. Their impact and clear cases are tested with over 100 drops. With four times the military standard, 20% more protection, and over eight feet of shock absorption, your phone is secure. And for the most extreme cases, their bounce cases have over 21 feet of drop protection. Cases are made of 65% recycled materials, and so far, 51,000 have been recycled. They've also got plenty of accessories like phone straps and charms. Time for the drop test. And here is my iPhone in perfect condition thanks to the EcoShock corners on this lovely bounce case. Casetify has collaborated with over 300 artists worldwide, bringing their artistic vision into your hands. With over 2,000 prints to choose from and customize, your devices stay stylish and safe. This case by Jessica Poundstone is called Color Cloud, A New Thing is on the Way. And I love how the warm colors remind me of a sunset because I'm very into sunsets. Go to casetify.com slash watchmojo to get 15% off your order. Number nine, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio. Pinocchio! Oh, no, please. It's, it's, it's a purpose to, to entertain. When looking back at the three films made about the classic wooden puppet released in 2022, Guillermo del Toro's version easily has the most life. The stop-motion animation is consistently gorgeous and breathtaking. Additionally, del Toro takes narrative liberties that will surprise and delight longtime Pinocchio fans. And there's also some truly great music that will leave you either cheering or crying. Ciao, papa, mio papa. Time has come to say farewell. Del Toro's film felt like it was built to be showered with awards. Before the Oscars, Pinocchio already took home the Golden Globe Award for Best Animated Feature. The odds are strong that the movie will soon get its strings on another big golden statue. Little wooden boy made of pine, may you rise with the sun. Number eight, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever. Two months after Angela Bassett starred in this heroic sequel, she made history by winning the first acting Golden Globe for an MCU film. Her powerful performance is just one of the strong reasons to watch this comic book movie. Wakanda Forever shook up the MCU by expanding into a beautiful underwater kingdom filled with great characters. Throughout the film, the costumes to cinematography consistently enhance each scene. The narrative also serves as both a towering original story and beautiful tribute to the late Chadwick Boseman. And it closes on a tear-jerking song by Rihanna.
Her singing, Angela Bassett's performance, or both could allow Wakanda Forever to win Oscars the MCU has never gotten before. Their wins would further solidify the movie's legacy. And we have joy in knowing that, well, with this historic Black Panther series, it is a part of his legacy that he helped to lead us to. Number seven, Elvis. You know, this is something I, I ain't never said to nobody before. I believe I can be great too. Every music biopic should strive to be as ambitious as the one made for the king of rock and roll. 2022's Elvis takes us on an unflinching look at the star's ups and downs during his historic career. While Tom Hanks is naturally great as a troubled manager, Austin Butler steals the spotlight with his portrayal of the musician. His musical prowess and acting talent make it nearly impossible for us to take our eyes off of him. Butler could easily dance away with the Best Actor honor at the Academy Awards. Outside of his role, Elvis could surprise in either a behind-the-scenes category or take the night's biggest statue. Wherever it lands, Elvis is definitely a slick story that moviegoers will not want to miss. But in the end, you gotta listen to yourself. So I want you to know those New York people ain't gonna change me none. Number 6. All Quiet on the Western Front Wieder mehr als 40.000 Tote allein in den letzten Wochen. Es ist vorbei. This war film could be a part of a big Oscar underdog story in 2023. During this bleak movie, young German soldiers experience the horrors of World War I firsthand. By not making English the primary language, the film feels more immersive. The actors' compelling performances also draw us in further to the grim world. Meine Mutter wollte nicht, dass ich in Krieg ziehe. Ich wollte ihnen zeigen, dass ich das kann. Despite all the movie's positives, it hadn't seen a lot of love from American award ceremonies as of January 2023. But that could majorly change if All Quiet on the Western Front secures a Best International Feature Film victory. The movie's production design or adapted screenplay might also lead the awards charge. When the night ends, this unflinching war film could stand among the best of its genre. Number 5. Tar Lydia Tarr has also written music for the stage and screen. She is one of only 15 EGOTs, meaning those who have won all four major entertainment awards. Despite not making a huge splash at the box office, this film could hit all the right notes at the 2023 Oscars. Kate Blanchett blew audiences away yet again by playing a multi-talented musician who struggles to keep every aspect of her life in harmony. There's no reason to get caught up in any intrigue. I'm worried. She's starting to disappear into herself. It was music to many ears when it was announced that she had won the Best Actress Award for Drama at the Golden Globes. Naturally, Blanchett is an early favorite to take the Oscar as well. But the script may be strong enough by itself to earn gold. The composer's story is also up for a couple of visual awards. In March, the Academy will likely sing its praises about at least one of Tar's strengths. You must in fact stand in front of the public and God and obliterate yourself. Number 4. The Fablemans if you ever wanted to get a better sense of how and why Steven Spielberg became such a legendary director, this film is a must-see. But in the sense of The Fablemans, it wasn't about metaphor, it was about memory. This drama blends accounts from his real life with fiction to paint an inspiring picture of a boy who grows up with a profound love for movies. The movie was hailed for its relatable story and fantastic cast. Although it was surprising that audiences didn't show up in droves, it was easy to see why it got so much Golden Globe love. You dismiss what he does that's playful or imaginative. You could afford to be a little encouraging. After Spielberg won for Best Director, it was hailed as the Best Dramatic Film of 2022. There is a decent chance that the Fablemans could clinch the same two honors at the Oscars. You do what your heart says you have to, because you don't owe anyone your life. Number 3. Top Gun Maverick I don't like that look, man. It's the only one I got. How do you achieve the perfect blend of nostalgia, breathtaking stunts, and a compelling story? Just ask Tom Cruise. 
During his long-awaited sequel to the 1986 classic, he takes audiences on a high-flying ride through the skies that never hits any turbulence. The production's push for practical effects and layered new characters made this so much more than a studio cash grab. Well, it's been a while since I've flown an F-18, and I'm not sure who I trust to fly the other three, but I'll find a way to make it work. But speaking of money, it came only second to Avatar The Way of Water at the box office. Top Gun Maverick's success among audiences and critics bodes well for its chances at the Oscars. Given the film has the power to make hearts race and soar, we'd bet audiences are cheering for it to get a statue to put in its cockpit. Rooster just saved your life, fellas. But it's gonna cost him. Not this time, old man! Number 2. Everything, Everywhere, All at Once I'm gonna stop you, Jogu. Now that I'm reaching my full potential. Oh, you still can't see what's happening. Somehow, a story about a woman learning to manipulate the multiverse in order to save it became an incredibly relatable film. Michelle Yeoh got to showcase her dramatic chops, comedic timing, and considerable fighting skills during her spectacular performance. Her co-star, Ki Hui Kwan, also shined with his earnest and scene-stealing lead role. All day. I don't know what the heck is going on, but somehow this feels like it's all my fault. Both actors earned well-deserved Golden Globes for their performances in January 2023, so they are definitely poised to repeat that double whammy at the Oscars. But the movie also received praise for the direction, its screenplay, and ensemble members like Jamie Lee Curtis and Stephanie Hsu. In the lead-up to the ceremony, the award possibilities for Everything Everywhere All at Once feel as infinite as the multiverse itself. There is always something to love, even in a stupid, stupid universe where we have hot dogs for fingers, we get very good with our feet. Number 1. The Banshees of Inisharan Why wouldn't he ask the door to me? Maybe he just doesn't like you no more. The dream team of Colin Farrell, Brendan Gleeson, and Martin McDonough assembled to produce another stellar film. Thanks to a script about a fallout between friends that effortlessly reaches dark lows and comedic highs, The Banshees of Inisharan felt like a well-rounded experience. The performances are also so nuanced that you'd be forgiven if you forgot these people were fictional. It almost felt inevitable that Colin Farrell would walk away with a Best Actor award at the Golden Globes. On top of his win, the movie earned top screenplay honors and Best Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy in two incredibly crowded categories. We would not be surprised to hear the Banshees of Inisharan get shouted out repeatedly at the 2023 Oscars. Oh, good luck to you. Whatever it is you're fighting about. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.